Hi, everyone. This is Lauren Steiner from the Robust Opposition reporting to you live from the Alex Villanueva for L.A. County Sheriff Headquarters Grand Opening in East L.A. <laughs> I've got a... I've got a room full of people here, and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you in just a minute. But first, we're going to hear from supporters of Alex, and then we're going to hear from Alex himself. So who wants to be the first person to speak? Okay, we have Mark Gonzalez from the Los Angeles County Democratic Party. Take it away, Mark. Hello, good afternoon, Sunday morning, everybody. Are we excited to be here? Yeah. Come on, we need some more energy. Are we excited to be here? Yeah. Is Alex going to be our next sheriff? Yeah. There we go. Um, my name is Mark Gonzalez. I'm chair of the Los Angeles County Democratic Party, and I'm very, very, very honored to be here to support Alex. We are one of the first organizations to support Alex before the primary, and we're so excited to see where he's at uh, today. Uh, 44 days till Election Day, right? Do we all know that? 44 days. So keep that number in your back pocket. 44 days is when we're going to make change. We can't forget, though, that there is a down ticket this year. There are many, many pages to that book, but when you get to Sheriff, please make sure that you click off for Alex because he's going to be our guy. He's going to be that person who's done over three decades of service uh, in the sheriff's, as a sheriff. Uh, his wife, where's Vivian? Where is the famous Vivian? Vivian. Vivian's given over 24 years of her own service to the sheriff's department, so let's give her another round of applause. But I, I just want to say that I'm, I'm proud again to be here to support Alex. We've got a lot of work ahead of us coming up. Like I said, 44 days to Election Day, 138 years since we've had Democrat in this office. But Alex is a union organizer. We can't forget that. And that's why our union brothers and sisters and ALADs are supporting you as well, Alex. And we also can't forget that Alex served our country, and he's a veteran as well. So, Alex, we are excited to elect you on Election Day, because this November 6th. How many more days? 44. How many more days? There we go. So, Alex, we look forward to supporting you, brother. Congratulations right now. <laughs> All right. So, who's next? I am co-founder of an organization called Reach for Mental Health Awareness. And what we do is we assist uh, families who are searching for their missing and mentally ill loved ones. More important than that, I am a, a citizen of Los Angeles County. And um, I was a citizen of Los Angeles County nine years ago when my psychology intern went missing um, from Malibu, California. And um, long story short, she was ultimately found dead um, in the canyon. What's important, um, what's important about that story is my inter interface with law enforcement. Prior to 2009, I was just a law-abiding citizen who had no real awareness of uh, I didn't even know the difference between like a captain and a lieutenant and any of that stuff. I got quickly uh, educated on that. But I, I came to realize that I could not continue to be ignorant um, to the importance of who was our sheriff. I quickly learned that um, while I was trying to live my private life, out there there were many people who suffered at the hands of law enforcement. Um, and so I decided to open my eyes and become more actively uh, aware and engaged what was, of what was going on in the sheriff's department. Nine years ago, I, I, uh, I openly sp spoke about the fact that there was corruption in the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department and something needed to, do, to be done about that. I think many sp people have been speaking up about that, and thank goodness there was some change. But the change that we have right now is not good enough. I find that uh, Sheriff McDonald is, um, I'm going to have to edit a little bit. I, I find that he is, he's, he, he's not transparent. I find that he is part of the corruption that has existed in that department, and what he's doing is to continue to uh, promote people who are part of the previous uh, administration. I believe that um, while there was an opportunity for the sheriff's department to be, to be turned around, he missed that opportunity either by choice or for whatever reason, by force, I don't know. Um, it is time that we have a new sheriff in town, and I will tell you why um, I have been very outspoken about Alex being our next sheriff. It's because of this, because when it was time to vote for a new sheriff, I called the other candidates, and I also called Jim McDonald, and he answered, but Alex answered the phone. And not only did he answer the phone, he listened to what I had to say. 
he, we actually met, we sat down and we talked, and this is the type of person that we need um, heading the, the, one of the largest sheriff's department in this nation. We need somebody that will be there, that will show up, that will not dodge debates. We don't need somebody in office who's too afraid to face a candidate. How the hell are you going to be the sheriff of the Los Angeles County and not, not, have the, not be brave enough to stand and, 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 and meet your opponent? We cannot have a scaredy cat in office. And our current sheriff not only has been too afraid to face his opponent, he's also been too afraid to face his constituents and those citizens who may have, not me, but those constituents who may have even voted for him four years ago. So I am voting for Alex because we need a sheriff who is present and available. So I'm not much of a public speaker, but I am very much willing to be up here for Alex Villanueva, our future sheriff of L.A. County. Um, my name is Melissa Michelson, and I'm the president of Feel the Burn Democratic Club. Um, we are uh, two years old, approximately. We're a brand new club within the Democratic Party. And as you may know, as you may have heard, the term Feel the Burn comes from Bernie Sanders, who ran um, uh, against uh, another kind of establishment candidate like um, you know the status quo I, I won't go into that right now but um, but similar to Alex I mean he's got a, a, an uphill battle and Bernie had an uphill battle in any case um, uh, I want to let you know that Field the Burn Democratic Club which has over hundred and sixty five members or so right now um, is one of the biggest progressive clubs in LA County and we endorsed Alex Villanueva we're one of the very uh, first I, I think not not very first, but one of the beginning, the first clubs that have that endorsed him. So, um, and other clubs are following suit. So that's great. Um, but we endorsed Alex Villanueva because we felt that um, he is obviously the better choice for uh, for sheriff. He has um, an understanding of. I guess the fine line between um, overusing guns and um, you know protect having protecting yourself as a police officer, but also not automatically shooting at the person um, when they've got their backs turned. Um, in Altadena, I don't know if you were aware, but um, this is close to where I live. Uh, there was a, uh, it was uh, Chris du uh, Ballou that uh, he was about 21 years old. Last November, he was at the mobile station. Uh, actually, no, he was driving and the LA County uh, Sheriff Department uh, officers um, weren't they were out of their out of their jurisdiction no it was the Pasadena police sorry it was the Pasadena police that went out of their jurisdiction followed him he's an African-American young male and um, and they started beating him up when they when he was uh, getting out of his car at the mobile station um, so that was a very big event for us in Pasadena in Altadena area and um, I think Alex Villanueva has that sensitivity that it's not going to be just automatically side with the police officers, but look at look at the situation and um, and handle it with integrity. Um, I don't feel that, and I think I speak for the other um, burners that in my, in my club. We don't feel that uh, his opponent would be doing the same. Also, um, we are highly against any kind of collaboration with the Sheriff's Department and ICE. And so we recently passed a resolution um, to abolish ICE um, when there are other groups, there are other um, departments that are working on the same thing. We don't need ICE. But in any case, in other cities throughout LA County, they're slowly starting to collaborate with ICE. Pasadena started, uh, actually decided not to. Uh, San Gabriel almost did, but they decided not to. El Monte, you know. So anyway, um, I think uh, that's another reason why our club endorsed uh, Alex Villanueva. So I'm going to give the mic to someone else now. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm, I'm honored to be here, too. And um, let's get Alex Villanueva in for our next sheriff of L.A. County. Thank you, everybody, for being here, showing your support. About a year ago, Alex told me, Viv, those who know Alex know that Alex has that, has that voice of Viv. What do you think if I ran for sheriff? I looked at him, I said, well, let me pray about it. So I did, I prayed a lot. And every day I would get a scripture that would lead me to give him the green light to do it. 
So I would forward those text messages from my prayer group to him. And one day he tells me, he actually picks up the phone and calls me from work and says, Viv, what do you want? The good Lord to come and slap you? What else do you want? <laughs> so I said, you know, go for it, Alex. And it took me a while to say yes, not because I doubted him. I know he's going to do the job, not only well for the deputies and the department, but for the community as well. I was born and raised in East LA, so I know the needs and, and the areas where people need law enforcement and where we need to come together. I also worked for the Sheriff's Department for 24 years where I know the needs of the deputy sheriffs to do their job right. And here to my, my best friend, my world, and my everything, Alex. I don't think I can follow that up. Wow. Put me on the spot here. Well, I want to thank everyone for showing up. And I've had an opportunity to be across L.A. County for the last, now it's been over a year, June 28th of last year is when we announced. And the funny thing is we, we prayed about it, we thought about it, and we had all these little clues that said, yes, do it. At the same time, we had a lot of people saying, oh, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. All the naysayers from the very beginning, they said it's impossible. You can never unseat an incumbent. I don't know how many times I've heard that it can happen. And we had a very meager budget, but we had a lot of energy, a lot of hope. And we had some really smart people that helped us along the way. And then those little $27,000 in the primary shocked the world and set a ripple of fear in downtown L.A. Why? Because we are not, I am not a politician. I have no aspirations to ever be a politician. I'm just going to tell you what I think the truth is, what's right in front of me, how it impacts you, how it impacts me, how it impacts the organization, and let's come together and let's find a way to fix it. We're bringing opposites together at the table. I got the endorsement of ALADS, the Deputies Union. I got the endorsement of CHIRLA, the Coalition for Humane Immigrants' Rights. So that is about as opposite sides of the ideological spectrum as you can get but both groups now recognize we have to fix the sheriff's department it's four years overdue and now it's 20 years of damage that we're gonna have to undo we can't undo it overnight but guess what everybody coming together the left the right doesn't matter what political party you belong to but anyone who's here in LA County is a stakeholder in the outcome of the sheriff's department so now we need to come together work hard we got 44 days yet as, as Mark says but we're gonna do this what sounded impossible back then all of a sudden is not quite that impossible and I come from I've been an athlete my entire life and a conditioned athlete I've competed in races and decathlons and all these things and uh, as I got older and I found myself competing with younger people and uh, it's funny because I can tell the ones that are eager, that have all the energy, they go rush out like a bat out of hell. And I say, I'll see them in a bit. <laughs> and sure as hell, little by little, I start reeling them in. Then I pull up next to them. Well, I've reeled in somebody, and I pulled up next to him. His name is Jim McDonald. And I looked at him as I've done in a race, many a race or two, looked him up and down. And then I push ahead. And I break their will. Eventually... They can't hang at that pace. So we're going to do a pace these next 44 days. He's not going to hang, and he showed the first signs when he failed to show up at a debate. I had an empty chair next to me. And uh, to be sheriff is a tough job, and I know it's going to be a lot more to do than just actually running for the position. But you have to have the courage to stand up. You have to have the, you know, the courage of your convictions. You have to face the music. You have to take the criticism. You have to weather and realize, okay, let's get what exactly you want, what do you need, what do we have, and how can we meet somewhere in the middle? Because we're going to share actually a, a lot in common. We're going to be opposing some things, and I'm not going to agree with everybody and everything, and I don't plan to because that's what politicians do. Right away they want to tell you, oh, yeah, they want to agree on everything. At the end of the day, you realize the only reason they ran for that office was – 
because they wanted to be an elected politician. They wanted to be an elect. And who is the one group of people that I have never got the support of? The political establishment. Lee Baca liked to consider himself the sheriff to the stars. The incumbent is definitely the sheriff of the political establishment. My goal at the end of the day, when I'm long gone, hopefully, it'll be that I'm the sheriff of the people. That is my goal. So, with that in mind, I want to ask each and every one of you, if you have something you can do for the campaign, we're going to be out, we're going to be uh, knocking on doors, we're going to be making phone calls, and we're going to do it everywhere. We have a very good game plan that Courtney and company put together, and we're going to hit all the areas where we were the weakest. That's where we're going to go to make it our strongest points. So I'm looking forward to everyone coming out and helping us do this journey together. So come November 6th, we're going to be at City's Restaurant right here in East L.A., where I st right where I started working patrol. And actually where I met, uh, where's Vivian? Where'd she go? I lost her now. Oh. It's where I, I actually came to, to meet Vivian. I came here in 1991. I met her in 93, and we've been together ever since. She's hiding now. <laughs> but um, I don't want to have celebrations or big parties or all these you know, balloons and ballrooms and all that. That kind of, I don't like that idea. I like to stay humble and stay grounded to where I started. And we had the primary. We were at cities. So in the runoff, we're going to be at cities again. And uh, we'll view the returns together. And Lord willing, we'll have a good result. And uh, so let's let's make it happen. So every one of you, if you can do what you can, reach out, help us in any way. There's a lot of canvassing that has to go on. There's a lot of phone banking that has to go on. We have it organized. And the Democratic clubs have been wonderful. A lot of them are already doing that for us. I was today at, uh, where's Carl, where were we at today? At uh, San Fernando Valley uh, Dem. Yeah, that one. It has a strange name, Dipset, but it says San Fernando Valley Democrats, a very active group. And someone handed me a flyer. Number knows to me, the Demo Democrats Action DAA, Santa Clarita Valley, they're actually walking precincts with a flyer, their little um, slate, and we're on the slate. And they're doing it on their own. So these little things like that, every little group that's doing that is spreading our word. And we're going to overcome the advantage that the incumbent has. But we're going to do this together. So it's going to be kind of cool. At the end of the day, the people are going to win. The political establishment is going to lose. And I have, I have, like I said, I have no desire to be a politician. And I know a lot of people, and I've actually had a chance to speak to elect, elect officials, the ones that don't want to endorse me. The first reason they don't want to endorse me is because, well, it doesn't look good for my career. It's all about, well, and I've had people high up elected officials, well, it doesn't look good for my career. You know, it'll be a threat to my career. I'm saying, well, that might be the entire problem right there, the, why you're run the difference between you and I. I'm actually doing this because we have to fix something that is in dire need of fixing. I'm not here because I want to be an elected official. Hey, give me the authority right now to do the job, and I'll get it done without even allowed be, without being the, the sheriff. But the sheriff's office gives me authority to make the changes that we need and bring us all together. So thank everyone for showing up, and let's get to work. 44 days. Uh, mi nombre es Cesar Gamboa, vicepresidente de Chicano Latino Immigrant Democratic Club for Los Angeles County. Uh, y les presento a... Arnulfo. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Mi nombre es Arnulfo Díaz. Soy vicepresidente del Chicano Latino Caucus, California Democratic Party, Los Ángeles Central. Es decir, somos la misma familia, Chicano Latino, el Club de Los Ángeles y el Caucus a nivel estatal. Gracias. Es un honor para nosotros estar aquí, eh, darle el apoyo a Alex Villanueva, que confiamos en él y necesitamos los latinos de el condado de Los Ángeles un cambio en el condado un cambio de sheriff necesitamos a alguien que traiga ideas nuevas ideas sinceras ideas que apoyen a la comunidad nosotros el chicano nuestra organización de latinos demócratas apoyamos a Alex Villanueva y estamos con Alex Villanueva nuestras familias nuestras comunidades Nuestros padres, nuestros hermanos, 
todos los cercanos a nosotros brindarán el apoyo a Alex Villanueva. Tenemos 44 días para trabajar duro. Tenemos 44 días para apoyar a Alex. Y la lucha va a terminar hasta lograr el objetivo de que Alex llegue y gane y sea el nuevo sheriff del Condado de Los Ángeles. Es el, es el mensaje que traemos nuestras comunidades. Vamos a apoyarlo y nosotros los latinos aquí en Los Ángeles lo vamos a apoyar. Gracias. Sí, para finalizar mi parte, reciba un saludo del señor Carlos Alcalá, que es el presidente del caucus a nivel estatal, que cuando Alex comenzó con su campaña y nos contactaron a través de, de la compañera, siempre tenemos una razón como, como club migrante y como caucus, eh, sobre todo los latinos, ¿cuál es la razón por la que vamos a apoyar a Alex? ¿Cuál, ¿Por qué te habríamos de dar el endorment y por qué tendrías que ser tú el sheriff del condado? Entonces nosotros hemos... Eh, He hablado con, con Alex y hemos preguntado, ¿qué estás haciendo por los latinos? Porque ahorita estamos en, un, estamos en una etapa donde están exageradamente los republicanos atacándonos y ya no podemos permitir más. Alex trae, eh, se está comportando como un verdadero veterano de guerra, está saliendo a defender y no ha tenido miedo, ha demostrado valor y eso nos gusta. Está apoyando a la comunidad latina y es la razón por la que nosotros como latinos, como migrantes, estamos apoyando a Alex Villanueva. Gracias a todos y esperamos contar con todos para el triunfo. Adelante, Alex. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Okay, so since I come from the uh, House of Labor here, has anybody ever heard of the Labor Club, the Unity Club? politics have always been in District 51, and that's the group that I've been talking to. But listening and hearing the Santa Clarita, those outlying areas, they're all part of the county. We need to be talking to those friends of ours out there. I never even think of them until just now, that I need to call them. They're not in my district. They're not in my, my orbit, but they're friends of mine. I need to call Everybody I know in the whole county, and I know people in every outlying area, and I think we all need to remember that detail and get out there and get those people to vote. You know. Talk to your neighbor, talk to your friends. We have 44 days uh, to walk, knock, talk, write a postcard, send an email, send a text message. We need every voter that we can get. Um, we also have some different uh, locations. It's just the beginning of various walks, phone banks, town halls. Um, these are the first two weeks. So take one, pass it on, um, and stay tuned on our website. But thank you very, very much. Alex Villanueva for sure. Woo!